Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw King Kong versus the Skull Crawler. Now, I've turned my paper up and down like this just so that we have a little bit more room to make them a little bit taller. So, starting right here, I'm going to start with his eye. So, I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down and then up like this in a check mark. And then I'm going to make a little curved line like this for the eye. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then around for Kong's eyebrow. Then starting here, I'm going to make a little line that's just going to kind of curve around like this for the nose. And then right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down. And then it's going to go around like this for his mouth. Draw a line that's just going to kind of go down. And then it's going to kind of curve in. And then right down to here. Then I'm going to make a line that goes down and up for one of his fangs. And then I'm going to add a couple small ones right here. I'm going to add a couple more small teeth right here and then another big fang right there. Then I'm going to draw some of his sharp teeth down here as well. Then I'm going to make a little line that kind of curves up there for the other side of his mouth. Now starting right here I'm going to just draw a line that's just going to kind of curve out and then it's just going to kind of curve around and then down like this. Make a little oval shape right here for his ear. And then I'm going to add a couple little details inside of there. Then I'm just going to kind of curve this with a broken line back here. And then I'm going to curve a line down here. It's just going to kind of go up and then around here for Kong's jaw. Now starting here, I'm just going to make a little line that's just going to kind of curve out and then go down. And then I'm going to make a line that just kind of goes out and then down for his shoulder. And then it's going to kind of form into his arm. And then right here, I'm just going to kind of curve a line that's just going to go right to here for his arm. Now, I want to make his hand right here like clenched in a fist. So I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve around like this, kind of like a little jelly bean shape. I'm going to make another one right here. Another one here. And then I'm just going to make a small kind of oval shape here. Then right here I'm going to add a little curved line for his thumb. Then right here I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve around for his hand. And then right here I'm going to draw a line that's going to kind of curve in like this. And then I'm just going to kind of curve it back up here for his arm. Now, starting right over here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down for his back. And then I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve in a little bit. Now starting here, the skull crawler kind of has like his tail wrapped around him. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here and just draw a line that's just going to kind of curve around and then it's going to kind of come back up like this. Then I'm going to draw part of his leg right here. And then I'm going to draw another line that just kind of comes down. It's going to curve like this. And then I'm just going to have another line that curves around. And then I'm just going to have his leg kind of curve down to here. Now, starting right up here by his face, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down a little bit. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve in. And then it's going to kind of come around like this for his chest. I'm going to start here. I'm going to draw a line. It's going to go out, and then it's going to kind of curve in for his body. 
And then I'm going to make a little line that's going to kind of curve up here to kind of show where his leg is going to be. Right here I'm going to draw another line that's just going to kind of go down and then it's going to kind of curve in. And then starting right here I'm going to draw a line that's going to go in and then just kind of curve down. I'm going to make a little line that's just going to kind of curve up right there. Now, starting up here, I'm going to add just a little line for his other arm, and then a line right here just to show where his arm is. Now, we're going to have the skull crawler kind of right here trying to bite him in the face. So, I'm just going to start off by making a little circle shape for the eye. And then I'm going to make a big kind of curved line right around it. Then starting here, I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve above it. And then it's just going to kind of go all the way down to here like he's just kind of blocking it. Then I'm going to start it here and I'm just going to make kind of like a wavy line that's going to go right to here. Then I'm going to make a line that's just going to kind of curve up. And then it's just going to go down here for the mouth. Then I'm just going to kind of curve this right around here. And then right here I'm going to add another little side of this for the other part of the mouth. Then right here I'm going to add just a kind of like a wavy line for their tongue. They have kind of crazy looking tongues. Then, starting right here, I'm just going to add a little bit more of a line right there for the head. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve right along here. It's going to come to here, and then it's just going to go up, and then it's just going to curve back to here for the arm. Then, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up. And then it's going to go down, and it's going to curve into one of the fingers. Then I'm going to start here and draw another little kind of finger that's going to curve back up here. I'm going to put a big claw on the end of each one. Then right up here I'm going to draw a little line here, and then a little line here just to kind of show where the arm is. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a, kind of like a little rigid line that just kind of goes all the way around here. And then when I get to here, I'm going to take this line and I'm going to curve it all the way down to here so we can kind of see where it's going to be wrapping around his body over here. I'm going to make a line that kind of curves up here and I'm going to add a few more curves just to kind of show where the neck is. Then I'm going to make a line that goes down, leave a little bit of space, and then I'm going to kind of curve this one into here. Then I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to kind of bring this all the way down here, kind of keep it a little bit bigger here, and a little bit smaller down there. Then I'm going to take this line, I'm going to draw it up for Kong's arm, and then I'm going to do the same thing up here. I'm going to use one of these lines here, and I'm just going to kind of make a little curved line to kind of show where his thumb would be. And then another little line where his hand is, and I'm just going to bring it down here, just to kind of show that he's got the skull crawler by the neck. Then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that just kind of goes down. And then it's going to kind of curve into here. Then I'm going to start here, make another line that's just going to kind of curve up, and then it's going to come down. They've got that kind of pointy elbow shape. And then I'm just going to bring this line up to here. Okay, so we have our basic shape of Kong and the Skull Crawler. Now what we need to do is start adding all of the details. And I'm going to go a little bit faster during this part. So I'm going to add a little bit of a curved line right around his eye here and then another little part right there by his eye. I'm going to add a little line right there for his nostril. 
little line right around here for his lips. I'm going to make a little curved line right there. And then I'm going to kind of bring a little line right around here, just kind of show where his head is turning. Put a little curved line there. I'm going to add a little line right around here, a couple curved lines for his chest. And then just kind of like some broken lines kind of right around here by his body. Add some little lines kind of right around here just to kind of show where his muscles are. A couple little lines here. Just going to add a couple little broken lines right around there. And then just a couple more right around here. Then I'm going to add a little line, a couple little lines here on his leg. Now, they're fighting in water, and I am kind of getting a little bit short of room, but we can add the feet down here. So I'm just going to add a little line. It's just going to kind of curve around. And when I get to here, I'm just going to add a little line that comes up for the toe. Then another little skinny one here. And then I'm going to add another little skinny one right here. It kind of comes up into his feet. Then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just kind of curve this around. I'm going to make a little one that kind of curves around here. And then I'm going to make one that kind of curves out for one toe. Another one curves out and then another one here. Now... Starting up here on the skull crawler's face, I'm just going to draw a little line that kind of goes right around here, just to kind of show that we're looking at the bottom of his jaw. A couple little curved lines right around there. Bring a line right around here, just to kind of show where that you know kind of skull shape is. Add a couple little lines in here. Give him some sharp teeth. We've got real sharp teeth on both sides. I'm going to add lots of little kind of curved lines on the feet. Some kind of curved lines on the arms here. Add some little lines going down. They kind of have this kind of crazy, like kind of bone shape to their arm here. It's going to add some little broken lines going down here. Some more little lines here. I'm going to add a little broken line that kind of goes right to here. And then you almost kind of see like their ribs in here. So I'm just going to add these kind of little broken long strong, or long little lines here. Just some little lines kind of going around here. Some extra little details on their back. Make some extra little lines going down here. And then some more little curved lines right here. I'm going to add just some extra little broken lines. Just kind of add some detail and texture kind of going down their body. And then just a couple little extra lines kind of right around here. Throw some extra little lines all along the face. Some little curved lines. You can kind of put extra lines going on the arms as well. And then I'm going to do the kind of the same thing on the tail here. Now, I don't want to add a ton of detail onto Kong's body because he's got all that hair. I mean, you can always add like a few little kind of quick little lines in some spots just to kind of show some hair. But you really don't need to do too much because we're going to be adding hair when we color it. But there you go. There is your drawing of Kong versus the Skull Crawler. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.